Hi there, my welcome back to Northern Ricky. To a fresh and young King Toki of Northern Ricky. He's so fresh and young, he's not even married. <laughs> Just has a betrothed, betrothed, and he'll probably marry her in a minute. So, um, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna look at what he is going to do. He's a very faithful young man. He's a spiritualist. He's a church man. He's also focused on theology. And uh, of course, like every everyone in that age and time, he wants to groom an heir. He's now got a feudal government, but that didn't help him much in keeping the realm together. He has a terrible a terrible assortment of realm. He has Rouen for all for some reason he has I'm sorry he has these countries here along England then we have a holy site that is here in Upland Uppsala then we have traditional Nordriki and Venezia and we have claims. We have the weak claim on the kingdom of Noreg, the weak claim on the kingdom of Finland, and the strong claim on the kingdom of Venezia. So, seeing that he is humble, temperate, and diligent, he would probably go for the strong claim first, even if it would be probably a better idea to go for Noreg first, to connect a little bit, or to, yeah, he might also go for Swiftfield. Because hmm, it's a long term time enemy that that really stands against us and it's also I think old Germanic. Yeah. It's old Germanic and his he wants to reform that. He wants to reform Queen Helena. So there's that. There's that. Then let's have a look at the societies. I mean, he cannot really join the assassins because, yeah, um, normal. He cannot join the wolf warriors anymore because he's not tribal or nomadic anymore. And that's like the prerequisite to become a wolf warrior. So no more overpowered, uh, <laughs> strong leader here than uh, the Fellowship of Hell. We must be a sinner. Oh, we're not a sinner. We don't have the character to, to do that. We might uh, take some wars, but not these. Then we have a prestige problem because, uh, as you can see here, our retinues cost us a lot of prestige. Just a lot of prestige. So mm, we might fight that at, at some point. Or we might have to lose a little bit of retinues even. That's going to be critical. And we have a lot of artifacts still from our predecessors. <laughs> we have no great works yet. So, great works added. We'll see. I mean, maybe he'll go and have some great works. But not now. Not now. Now we're going to focus on... Well, <laughs> develop a plan to <coughs> take on Nenezia, probably his half-brother. He doesn't like his half-brother and his half-brother doesn't really like him. And on the other hand, yeah, developing our faith, probably. Uh, what could we do with intrigue? Change the pagan branch isn't really an option. We're really a spiritualist leader. We don't need to invite anyone composing a book is much too early and searching for a smith is not needed we have a lot of artifacts but let's have a look at these artifacts so we wear the best combination of them let's see i think we already we're already good here we can imprison ill the win of northampton because he tries trying to kill someone Hmm, will we do that? Let's look at the plots we have. So he wants to kill Beold North Achnakheidson in Northampton. Well, we don't know. 
cannot end this plot, cannot end this plot, cannot end this plot. Yeah, we, we probably want to auto-stop plots. Because that's the kind of person we are. And we're a little bit stressed. That's why we're concentrating on theology. And getting in here with probably the beautiful and temperate and kind Gudrun. She's well-groomed. That's like opposite to us. We're uncouth, but... <coughs> We hope that we can overcome this somehow. I mean, we are the king after all. Oh my god, we could join the Wolf Warriors. Gutke and the Wolf Warriors have chosen Radoslavas, my opponent. The staunch man eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers mockingly. So it did work, in spite of us being feudal. Crazy. For shoving an elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. A sparring match, huh? The onlookers are cheering for me as I swing my bare hands with increasing enthusiasm. When it's over, Radoslav is on the ground, his face red with embarrassment. I shrug, smiling to the crowd and at my opponent. I walk away, victorious. Our opponent is wounded, Radoslav the knuckle slammer. So let's see. I mean, our most pressing concern is probably either money or prestige. So let's see. Gudrun and King Toki II are getting married. Yeah, Gudrun, that's our wife. Nice. We already love her, of course. Can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. Mm. I think people respect wealth. And we want to, to have some prestige at least. Welcome here, Gudrun. Oh my goodness, someone died. Alof! To the valiant King Toki, I'm told you didn't receive a single scratch during your initiation. That is the kind of impressive soldier we would be honored to have sitting at our table. We are hereby humbly invited to join our ranks. Finally, and we're one of the wolf warriors now. And we'll go in there faith. I mean, the Germanic faith is a rather a kind of a violent faith too, so we'll see what we can do in that society. About our wife? I mean, we should really try to... Yeah, we're swaying her. We're swaying her already. Goodness. After a disagreement with a meal? That's... That's also a little bit suspicious, don't you think, as a spy master? Well, who are we going to take then? We can still take a concubine, and she wants to get mm, some fun. She's a spiritualist and gregarious and patient as well. It might be the right move to... I mean, Helena, she's a, she's a pragmatist. One of the better choices. We'll choose her. And uh, now the Germanic faith is not based on being faithful to one woman. So we can as well take a concubine. Our spy master. That should be good. And then we have some minor titles. A commander. What could that be? Gandalf, the chief of Essex. Oh, might be a really good choice. Let's take him. Young, fresh. And probably also refreshing. Let's see. That's the army of Thorstein on Finland. Mm. I mean, there's that old Germanic uprising. In Bo is reform pagan, though. Well, this one is also reform pagan. Okay. The king of Nenetia is also reform pagan. But Swiftyot is not, and that is 
something that makes us believe it would be a good idea to take them on. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of prestige, but only a little bit anymore. Look, they're they're winning against the old Germanic faith. That is good. And Marshall has discovered a man of great military talent called Ruffin, who is willing to serve in my ranks. Indeed. Um, wow. That is awesome. He has a terrible temper, but. Excellent. Oh my goodness, Christina died during... In memory of Berislav, yeah, our father. The rune stone you committed, commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. This stone was raised by Toki in memory of Berislav, his father and Toki's son. Toki was our grandfather, but Toki the second. He died bravely in battle against his foes, axe firmly in hand, ever will stand this memorial. You leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wind wisdom of their words. It's perfect. It's really great. Kind of title that we have a designated regent oh my goodness the regent who could who could we trust Virik, the chief of winchester he likes us he's totally incompetent well mother mother will make a great regent look we're so prestigious already it's crazy Duke Timike called my name from the other side of the dining hall, standing on one of the long tables, changing me to a, ch changing me to a flitting. Oh my goodness! Ah, the magnificent goodness. He's a wrath. That's about his only weakness. Hmm. The magnificent. <laughs> That's not something we can do. Kind. Is he kind? Well, he's well groomed. He's trusting. Probably not. Henry isn't shy. Lustful. Ooh. That could be dangerous. <laughs> In fact, his family. No, no, no. No warrior is as cowardly as the one between your legs. Let's try that. Spar with words for a while, but soon Timika's face grows red with rage and embarrassment. Surrounded by the laughter of the other warriors, unable to put together a coherent response, my opponent has clearly lost the flitting. We can gain a lot of renown if we insult him. Or we can gain a little bit of renown and kind of a friend. And that's who we are, right? We are polite. It was all in good fun, Timike. Do not be mad. Poker is now the sharp tongue of Nodoriki. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Heasing has also improved. Nice. Significantly. He's now a flanker. And, wow. Very strong. It's been a long day. And it is with some relief that you retreat to your bedchamber for the night. Your bed is warm, and just as you are about to drift off into sleep, you hear a strange hissing sound. 
A carpenter will need to look at this bed tomorrow. <gasps> then cold and scaly brushes past your naked leg and as you sit up you feel a sharp pain in your upper thigh. Putting back the covers reveals a vicious hissing snake. You stumble out of bed but already your sight grows dimmer as the intense pain spreads throughout your body. And we're already dead. And our half-brother is our heir. Well, that was it for King Toki II. King Toki II feasts in Valhalla at age 16. He died under suspicious circumstances, ever temperate. He never let his base urges get the better of him. A godly man, Toki, is with Frey now. Now, we're playing as King Thordor of Magnesia. Having no skills with which to keep the realm together, his rule may be doomed to fail. Long live King Thorder. So be it. And we have a new heir, Burger Alfersson. My oh, goodness. We'll have to fight for survival. We're just three, the three years old King Thorder of Nenetia. Well then, I'd say uh, let's start this fight for survival right now. God, it's looking terrible. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming to you. This is Imhamar Khan. Signing out. This is Nenetsia. And we're in a terrible situation to have two wars against us. Let's have a look at our council. At least we have a court physician and a halfway competent marshal. We'll see what we can do about this, eh? Have a great time until next time, and happy gaming. Ooh.